Yeah, hi. <laughs> good morning, good afternoon, or good evening where you are. It's Keith. Um, just sort of update you where we're up to as Sun Sink. If you want to know where we're doing and what's going on, you've probably seen lots of videos, and lots of bits and pieces, and since I did my last report a few months ago, um, lots happening, lots of progress, massive amounts of progress. Um, things are changing um, for the better, and I think you guys in the industry, the more professional, the better you're going. And a lot of things we try to pr promote professionalism. We try to keep our brand, our software, everything on the professional in the market. We don't really focus at all, and in fact, we don't focus on DIY products. Um, all of our inverters and this, under the Sunsync banner are all designed for professional engineers. And that's why our servers, you know, we, we're moving our servers, or a lot of our servers are now hosted in Germany and the UK. Uh, it's very important, it gives you security. So when you're putting a system in, you know that's gonna be on a secure server because the inverters stream an awful lot of information back. And so it's gonna be on a totally secure. So we, we, we're focused on that. Um, as I said on the show, we're focusing also on container batteries. I don't know if you've seen any of my videos. Um, it's been a bit of a dream. We're gonna do a, a movie about it on the development. So it's been a dream of mine to develop a container battery. It wasn't, it's not easy and we're, we're sort of, we're three quarters through development. In fact, well, we're more than three quarters, we're 90%. In fact, we're gonna be shipping the first containers, first three containers we'll be shipping in about two weeks time. Um, I'm gonna go back across over to the China factory and we'll see them all up and running and we'll commission them. So one of the containers is gonna be sent to the United Kingdom. We're gonna use that as a demo. And uh, so if you're interested in setting up a demonstration, please contact Tom and Tom can arrange a demonstration. We're gonna uh, buy a, an articulated lorry, <laughs> put it on a truck, and we've, we, we've got a new van which we've commissioned set up and uh, for the high energy, it's all about high energy, isn't it? And so we're gonna take it, and if you actually want to see the thing working and see and go on board onto it and actually look firsthand what a container battery is all about, how it functions, and it is a beautiful piece of kit. You'll get the chance to see it. There's a lot in it. It's complicated things. You know, you, I talk about the HVAC. It's got the, um, the various detections. It's got gas detection systems. It's got ventilations. It's got uh, the, the control gear, the EMS. It's, it's so sophisticated. Uh, you'll love it. Even the buzz, even thousand amp buzz bars. It is a cool piece of kit and it's perfect. We're, we're actually doing the integration with the microinverter. So one of the things we can look into do is on the same app on Sunset Connect, uh, especially for commercial installations, you've got a whole roof and you can do them in microinverter. Four panels, one microinverter, gives you total panel level optimization, but it's safe, it's really safe. We haven't got high voltage strings, especially on commercial roofs. Because you know, I was worried about high voltage strings on commercial roofs because it only takes one person to trip a cable, pull it apart. And, and as every, you know, every installer knows, if you if you pull our MC4 connector apart a little bit, it can create an arc and it can be really dangerous. Of course, we've got arc level detection on it, uh, on, on, on the units, but if you're going to connect on the AC couple with microinverter, then it doesn't make any difference. We create microgrids. This is something very important. And I think to have this system, and we've created a system which is totally scalable, where you can use the microinverters any size roof you want, if you want to put a thousand panels, two thousand panels up there, you can do. Or go onto local AC cables, it's so simple. We've got full panel level optimization for safety. Um, it, it is the be bell, I'm gonna say whatever it is. it is actually the bells and whistles, it is good. We're gonna have some demonstrations. Um, the containers, as I say, are almost ready. And if you're interested in the container, please, in the UK, contact Tom. In, in South Africa, contact Heralds. Um, for other parts of the world, um, contact Hong Kong, or even if you, if you if you want to, myself, I can put you in the right direction. We are taking orders for them now, so we, we, you know, for us, it's a major development project. So lots going on. Um, obviously, we, we we focused a lot on the high voltage stuff um, with our battery pack, which you've probably seen, which I showed in in uh, in, in South Africa, and and, and I don't know if you got the, if anyone got a chance to actually go to the talk. I done a talk there in South Africa, so. One important thing is though, we pride ourselves on service. Now some people say, okay, they have issues on service or whatever, but we, our service is so important. It's the support. We've got a huge support center in, in um, North Africa, um, Spain, Spanish colony, massive support center there. If you call a local number, it will divert it to there where the calls will be taken. We've got after sales, or if you have a particular problem, we can escalate support. 
you're not having to ring somebody or text somebody or ask them to clue. You know, some of our competitors, you know, I'm not naming there, you have a problem, you're gonna get phone calls or why, 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 why? <laughs> you wanna to speak to a real person and that's important. Uh, today, um, Joel and Andrew are off to, we've developed a, a, a massive upgrade to our app. And I mentioned it in one of my talks about actually doing in-app messaging. So if you have a problem with the app, if you have a problem with your system, for the end user, this is not the installer. The installers call a call center and they speak to engineers. That's important because we have to support installers with engineers. But we don't support within our call center and our ferries, but we don't actually support end users because we can't. We didn't fit the system. We don't know how the system works. And it would be totally irresponsible of us to actually support end users. But what we've got now is the in-app messaging service, which will be live, uh, I would hope within four weeks, maybe sooner, it will be on the upgrade. If you have a problem, the end user has a problem and wants to check settings, then they can go through the app and they can ask questions about their inverter and they, they will get a real person answering it. We've got a team, we've set up a whole team of real people to answer these questions. It's not all about computers, it's not about artificial intelligence or what robots. These are real people, real engineers, the other side of that app, and these guys will operate 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Therefore, anywhere in the world, anywhere in the world, if you've got one of our pieces of kit and you have a question about it, you will get an answer. That's so important. We don't want anybody stuck with it. You know, we, we have our support centers, the various support centers around the world. We focus our business on the countries that we are boots on the ground. So obviously Southern Africa, um, Nibia, Botswana, around that area. We're just opening now in East Africa. So Tracy and Clinton are opening the East Africa office. And that will be amazing. That will cover all the East Africa, Tanzania, U Uganda, Kenya, and that will operate around that area. We are functioning now, obviously people know we're in Eindhoven, which covers Germany and covers some of the other places. Um, then we're actually also moving into Dubai and so we have the office in Dubai and of course we've got Hong Kong, Australia, United Kingdom. So these are the countries we're operating in. We have directors, country director in every country. So if there's an issue you can contact the local director. What we will do is we'll put a directory up um, of the local director but you would have been dealing with them anyway because if you purchase we only do business to business so we only support major distributors and major installers so it's all business to business from us but nevertheless we're going further down the road we're trying to support the end user now and so we've set up a system employed a lot of new engineers a lot of new people um, Joel is busy commissioning everything and very soon this will go live and we're going to give total support there's some other things happening and I promised and promised and promised about the remote uh, switch <laughs> the, the booster the hot water wireless booster we're going to get free with every inverter okay it's in tooling i apologize for the delays we just got so crazy busy we're going ahead with it it is coming it's coming please be aware it's on its way it's coming so i apologize for that but it's definitely happening and there's lots of other new changes on the app there's some really really sexy stuff going on I'm not going to talk about too much about the app because I'm not the app man. Joel is the app man. And if you want to ask more questions, text Joel. Uh, Joel at sunsync.com. <laughs> You'll probably go crazy. But yeah, there's, there's, there's a lot happening. We're going to do some more trials. But the exciting thing is, is the inverters, the containerization inverter. That's the exciting. Oh, and we also got some, we got car charger, all in one car charger coming very, very soon with this uh, 120 kilowatt hour battery. Um, it's got a 30 kilowatt DC charger, a 20 something kilowatt, 22 kilowatt AC charger. And you can put it anywhere, station anywhere and pay by credit card. And it can be sit under a carport, solar carport and self charge and even need to watch the mains. This is coming, these, these things are coming. Think about all the highways, the roads. It's got, it's got full security system on it. We, we, we put trackers on these things so if somebody this has a big enough truck and manages to lift and take it away. We, we, we know where it is, all fully tracked, all. So these are things that's coming. So we're focusing now, we're really focusing on the higher end products um, because I think that's important. Um, but nevertheless, the standard stuff that's going, you know, this, this is going, it's still going very good. 
and it, that's really our bread and butter. We're just spending money on development. Some people think we just put a name on things. Absolutely don't. Visit some of our R&D centres and you'll see what Sunsig is all about. We spend a lot of time, we spend a lot of money on R&D, and actually, actually in one of the R&D centres at the moment, um, in Hong Kong, back in Hong Kong, I'm here for, for a while. Uh, I'll be travelling out of China, and then later on we'll be, I'll be in the European office. But you'll see that we do focus on R&D. But never, I'm feeling, you know, there are some changes. I know in South Africa, some guys may think, oh, the business drop a little bit, temporary. <laughs> yeah, I, I, it's, it's a temporary, you know, we know load shedding can drop a little bit, but it's coming back, it, it, you know. Uh, there's no new power stations suddenly being built, I'm sure. But, you know, I can't comment too much, I'm not a politician. But people tell me it's a temporary thing. Um, but it, the business generally is, is, is okay. Um, and you know, all I say to people is, you know, stick with us, stick with the brand. And being a brand, we have to support you. We have to really, really support you. And you know, the software is designed. You know, we developed the software in the, in, in the UK. We've got our, 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 so our operating system in the UK. We've actually got our back end, our servers and stuff. As I say in Germany, so I'm repeating myself a little bit because I so, you know, I get so wound up and I see all these ones popping up, you know, sort of, you know, I've got new, new inversion, Okie okay, Cookie 2000, Okie okay, Cookie 5000, you know, all these things. And, you know, you're going to spend, your user, the house user, is going to spend a lot of money on a system, a huge amount of money. You know, they're going to cost them, I, I, you know, I, I, can, I, I, don't, I don't follow the exchange rate into Rand, but, I can, you know, maybe a couple of hundred thousand Rand, or you know, in, in, in the UK, 10,000, 15,000 pounds, or 20,000 US dollars, I don't know. It's a lot of money because you've got the panels, you've got the batteries, you've got the installation, you've got, it's a lot of money. So don't, don't think about the quality of the equipment because the last thing is you want is that system. You buy it, you put it in there, and you know, a year later, boom, failure, batteries pack up. You see these, these things everywhere happening and you're stuck. If you've installed it and you've given a 10 year warranty and that fails after one year, what do you do? <laughs> you run? You've got to support it. So you've got to put your hands in your pocket. If you can't get support from that company, you put your hands in your pocket, you've got to rebuy it. There are a lot of reputable companies out there. We're not the only reputable company, there's lots of other good companies, very good companies. But all I say to people is stick with the majors, stick with the big brands. It's important, I think, you know, because your safety and for the future of your own businesses, because this, the solar business, the industry is here for a long time. This is gonna go on and on. It's gonna go much bigger than it is now. It ain't going away because, the, because as I mentioned, electric cars, and I, I did my previous report when I was telling people about, um, you know, uh, it's, it's, it's 10 rugby players wanting a, wanting a pint each going in a rugby club of which somebody corrected me and said, no, you're wrong. 10 rugby players going into a pub wanting 10 pints of beer each, <laughs> not one pint of beer. <laughs> so I was corrected on that. So that this is important, it's so important to, you know, to have energy. And that's why the container batteries are gonna be massive. It's gonna be massive. You know, every holiday resort is gonna to have to have EV chargers, every car park, everywhere's gonna have it. And the grid can't support it. Um, I was doing some calculations in, for, in Israel and looking at their power supply and if we said if we suddenly had half their vehicles in a couple of years our EV and 20% of them are charging them it's already something like 50% of the grid it's huge the grid can't do it but you can do it because obviously solar is great because it's free and it takes a while and then also you can charge it off peak times because when a generator, we, we, you know, sometimes a generator is running full load, sometimes not load. The other thing with obviously container batteries is we, we, a lot of places you've got these big diesel engines soaking up the sort of, uh, for the peak demands. These all become batteries. Um, you know, we're focused you know, at the moment, it's, it's, it's lithium. Most people tell me it's gonna be sodium. Sodium batteries are the future because it's more abundance. I don't know the development. I do know in the UK, because I'm speaking to people in the United Kingdom who are developing sodium batteries. And the, the, the technology, great, you know, because I'm sure sodium is much more abundant than lithium. So yeah, I, I do get that. And that, it, that will be a future product as well. So there's lots, I've also seen the development on, on the PVs. I'm not a PV person. 
but the efficiencies, you know, I've just seen the efficiencies of PV panels, so 23, 24, 25%. What, what, so one meter square gives you 250 watts, 25%. You know, they, they say 100% is a one meter square gives you one kilowatt. It's just a figure that somebody's calculated. They said the sun produces one kilowatt of energy for one meter square of the, of the planet. And so if we can get a little bit more power out of it, fantastic. Anyway, this is my update, <laughs> my quarterly update. Um, I, you know, hopefully the next time will be after the show in Birmingham, which is Solar and Storage Live. And we're going to take the container batteries there. You'll see it. So if you're interested in container batteries, contact Tom. If you want to look at a demonstration, book it now. Or um, Dave Watkins, um, you can book it, book it now. Again, if you want to talk, look it into South Africa, contact Herald. They'll have samples as well. So there's a few limited samples around. If you're interested, if you want to buy one, for goodness sake, contact the distributors. Order it because we're taking orders now. So there's a lot more coming up. Wait for another two weeks and I'll show you a little bit more information about it. We'll be much more close up on how the thing functions and how it couples. So yeah, keep following us. Thank you for your support. Uh, you know, it, it, listen, it, it, we, we, we're partners and we work with the installers, we work with you guys. As far as I'm concerned, it's, it, we, we work together. And you know, I'm, I'm very passionate. To me, it's the, it's the technology. I love it. I love the technology. You know, I get a kick out of it. You know, I absolutely love it. You can probably tell that some of my videos. So I'm going to start focusing now. We, we need to start talking about training videos. And one tip, one tip for the, for the UK particularly, if you haven't got an export tariff, uh, and if you haven't got a, low, a special low rate tariff, yeah. switch off AC charging on your inverter because you just waste energy. So many of them do it. If you've got a very cheap off-rate tariff, you may have one of the uh, Octopus new tariffs or whatever, fine, it works and you can save a lot of money and you can switch the thing off at peak time and you can get even more money. So yeah, but if you haven't got one of these tariffs, don't use it, switch it off, you don't need to waste money. So thanks for following us on YouTube and if you, if you don't follow us and you're not subscribing, please subscribe. And uh, I just, we just keep doing it. And, and, and people told me, oh, one thing, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, before I go, I'm gonna shut up in a second. One thing um, I've, been, I've been told, I need to do more drawings. So I think on the new training stuff, uh, we're gonna do drawings. So I've got, I've got Ronald sitting, Ronald's here. <laughs> He's this, 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 in fact, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna turn the camera around. <laughs> there's, there's Ronald. <laughs> So Ronald, Ronald works with Joel on the on the IT side, and he, he sort of because nobody can walk past because I'm using the camera and it's a bit of a tight area. So yeah, anyway, thanks for following us. Please subscribe, and you know what? This journey is right at the beginning. We're going to go forward together, and we're going to do some great stuff. Thank you.